Welcome to the final video in this Flowwise Masterclass. I do want to congratulate you on making it this far. We've definitely learned a lot. We've built several different chat flows, and we've also learned how to build complex agent flows using Flowwise. Now for this final project, I am going to switch over to a cloud instance of Flowwise, because in this project, we'll integrate one of these flows with Telegram. That way we can access our agents from anywhere in the world using our phones. Now, hopefully it does make sense that Telegram or WhatsApp would not be able to access a chat flow running on your local machine. For this demo, I will be using our research agent. And because I've created this locally, I am going to export this flow. So I'll export it to my machine. And now I'll log into my cloud instance. And as a reminder, you can sign up for the Flowwise cloud instance by using my affiliate link in the description of this video. And you will get access to a 14 day trial without needing to provide your credit card details. So from here, I'll go to chat flows. Let's create a new chat flow. Let's click on settings and load chat flow. And then let's save this and let's call this research agent. Let's select our SERP API credentials. I'm actually going to delete this custom tool as well as the calculator. So we only have web search available. Then for the OpenAI node, I'll select my credentials and let's save this flow. I'm just going to test it in the chat by saying, hey, let's ask something like, what is the current weather in Cape Town? And I suspect this didn't work because my SERP API credentials are not correct. So I'm going to sign into serpapi.com. I'll grab my API key and I'm simply going to click on edit and paste in that key. I'm going to save this and in the chat, let's ask it again. What is the current weather in Cape Town? And this time it did use the search tool. Now that we have a research agent working, we can add it to Telegram. It's important to know that Flowwise is focused on building AI applications and the way you can interact with Flowwise from outside of the platform is to call their API endpoints. Flowwise does not provide out-of-the-box integration with platforms like Telegram or WhatsApp. Therefore, you still need to add some sort of integration tool into the mix like Make.com, Zapier, or N8N. I will be using N8N in this tutorial, and I actually have a lot of N8N related tutorials on my channel as well. So if you want to follow along with what I'm doing in this video, then click on the N8N link in my description and sign up for your free trial. Alternatively, you can use make.com, which is free to use. And again, if you want to support my channel, then use my affiliate link in the description of this video. And although I'll be using N8N in this tutorial, make.com is very similar and you'll be able to follow along. After signing into N8N, you will be provided with a dashboard. Let's create a new workflow. Let's rename this. I'll just simply call this Flowwise Agent Tutorial and let's click on Add First Step. Then let's add Telegram like so. And for the trigger, let's select On Message. So whenever we receive a new message from Telegram, that will trigger this workflow. We don't have to change anything on this screen. So let's go back to the canvas. Then let's add a new action and let's search for HTTP request. Now back in Flowwise, we can click on API endpoint. Then let's click on curl. Let's copy this URL and let's paste it into URL. Let's also change the method from get to post. Then let's enable send body and we'll leave the content type as JSON. And for the body parameters, we need to pass in a property called question so I'll just paste it in there. And for the value, I'll just test this out by saying hello. Then let's go back to the canvas. And after HTTP request, let's click on this final action. Let's search for Telegram. And then let's select send a text message. Now let's set all of this up. Let's open up the Telegram trigger and under credentials, let's click on create new credential. Here we have to provide an access token, which we need to get from Telegram itself. Thankfully, N8N is very well documented. We can simply click on open docs and then follow this instructions. The first thing we need to do is to start a chat with Botfather. So let's click on this link. You do need to sign into Telegram if you haven't done so already. And then let's click on open in web. Then let's click on start. And in this list of commands, let's click on new bot. 
Now we have to give our bot a name and this can be anything. I'll just call this one Flowwise Research. And now we have to enter a unique username. And this name needs to end with the word bot. So let's just enter something like Flowwise Research Bot. Great, now we can copy our token and add it to Telegram. I'm also going to rename this connection and I'll just call this Flowwise Tutorial. Let's save this. And if everything was done correctly, you should see this green connection message. Let's go back to the canvas. Let's also set that connection in this sent message node. So I'll change it to this Flowwise Tutorial connection. Let's go back to the canvas. Let's test this workflow. I'm actually just going to disconnect this final connection as this is giving us errors at the moment. Let's click on run test flow. In fact, it seems that this will keep giving us issues. So I'm actually just going to delete this node for now. Let's click on test workflow again. And now it's waiting for a message from our Telegram bot. So back in Telegram, we can now click on this bot to access it. Let's start the conversation. And now we can see that N8N was indeed triggered. Let's run this again. And I'm just going to send a message like, hello. So going back to N8N, if we double click on this trigger node, on the right hand side, we can see the output of this node. This changes to the schema view. And in this view, we can see the name of the person who sent the message and at the very bottom we can indeed see the message text. So what we can do now is on this HTTP request node instead of hard coding the value as hello we can instead change this to schema mode and then grab the text that we received from telegram itself. I'm going to test this node by itself and this actually made a call to Flowwise and from our Flowwise agent we received this text Hello, how can I assist you? I do want to add one more parameter to the body and that is the chat ID. If we call Flowwise without providing a chat ID, then a new chat ID will be generated for each interaction. This is not ideal if we want to use chat memory. So this means the agent won't be able to recall our previous conversations. So what we can do is pass in the chat ID that we received from Telegram, and now our agent should be able to recall information. For example, let's say my name is Leon, let's run this. Okay, it's saying hello Leon. And now let's ask what is my name? Let's run this. And it was able to recall that our name is Leon. If we go back to Flowwise, we can go to settings, view messages, and we can see that conversation with an ID of 5784. And if we go back to Telegram, this is indeed the 5784 number that we received from Telegram. And of course, we can see our conversation history. Great. Now, finally, let's send the response back to Telegram by adding in that Telegram node and more specifically, the send a text message action. Let's select our credentials. And for the chat ID, we do want to use the chat ID node that we received from the Telegram node. So this guy over here, and let's grab the chat ID. And finally, for the text, we can grab the text from the Flowwise API. Great, let's run this. And now back in Telegram, we can receive that response coming through. But we also get this additional text which we don't want. So in order to remove that, click on Add Fields, Append N8N Attribution, and disable this. Let's test the step again. And now we simply get our AI's response. Now, all that's left to do is to save this flow and activate it. We can click on got it. And now we can have conversations with our agent. So let's say, hey, what is OpenAI 03? And it says your name is Leon, which is definitely not correct. And that is because in the HTTP request node, I still have this hard coded value. So let's make sure to use the message that we received from Telegram. Cool. Let's save this and back in Telegram, let's start this again with A. Hey, let's ask it, what is OpenAI 03? And great, that's working. Of course, you can attach any of your flows to Telegram now, including multi-agent flows and sequential flows. And that takes us to the end of this course. If you enjoyed it, then please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video. I've got plenty of other content on Flowwise, especially on multi-agents and sequential agents. So definitely check out those videos as well. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.